Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. In the previous videos, I have demonstrated the different mode flow packages like the terrain package, the general heat boundary package, and the evapotranspiration package, as well as the recharge and horizontal flow barriers package. Today in this video, I will show you how to model the reservoir package. Okay. First, we have to open our project, go to file, and then open model. I do have my model under desktop directory, more flow, and my project. This is my project. Previously, I worked on it and I'll open this. Okay, and then the second step is under modules, go to flow package and then open the reservoir package. See, this is our study area. So, this package is simulated or designed for cases where reservoirs are much greater in area than the area represented by individual model cells and this package can simulate more than one reservoir so it can simulate by using the data editor under the data editor using seal by seal or polygon input method by assigning the reservoir number land surface elevation of the reservoir the vertical hydraulic conductivity of the reservoir bed as well as the thickness of the reservoir bed so I just want to model for this tutorial under this area if you right click you see under the reserve package the reserve number and land surface elevation reserve repair conductivity as well as the thickness of the reserve bed are the parameters that should be imported or fulfilled to model this package. So, before this, we have to input our land surface elevation. That means we will have the land surface elevation previously. We have modeled and that is the top elevation and I will import this just go to value and then matrix under the parameter I have to select land surface elevation okay and then we can load and replace the top one and it is my top click channel and open then replace these values okay these are our values automatically changed with the top elevation and then we can proceed it you okay okay if you just right click it should have to input it automatically see this value is incorporated automatically okay so we have then just input this value and then run our model for that 
I'm just interested to put my reservoir under this area and I will zoom in and then okay then right click and input these values I do have the number of reservoirs one and the reservoir eight vertical conductivity with 0 0.000 seven and with thickness of the reservoir bit one point three meter and then we can just assign our stitch of the reservoir open stage I just describe my reservoir as this is just small irrigation okay and then I do have Time surface relation, but in reality, the reservoir stage is below the land surface relation. Then we can assign it is below one meter from the land surface relation, and then nine seventeen ninety meter minus one is just seventeen. 89 okay and then we can cross it okay and then okay yeah this is our reservoir and after this I can save the changes leave it yes good we have finished today's tutorial. I hope this tutorial will help you. If you have anything, please write us on the comments box below. Thanks for watching. If you like the tutorial, consider subscribing.